So here for Language Arts for Wednesday, we are finally starting Unit 5, and this one is called Modifiers at Work. So we're going to learn what that means, and we're going to start with adjectives. So we have done our nouns, our verbs, our pronouns, and now we're going to learn about adjectives. You may know that adjectives are describing words, but we're going to learn even more about them and how to use them. So it says the fourth part of speech that you will learn is the adjective. An adjective is a word that modifies a noun or a pronoun. It answers the questions, which one, what kind, how many, how much, or whose. The first answer, which one, the square box, what kind, $10, how many. So just notice that all of these italicized uh, words here are answering these questions. So for example, which one? The first one. What kind? The square kind. How many? 10. So it's answering these questions as you complete sentences and we have more examples. So here you're just going to underline the adjective in each group of words in the blank, write the question, which the adjective answers. So you're going to have to be peeking up here for these questions until you get the hang of it. So here you have number one is frisky puppy. Well, we know that frisky is the adjective because it's telling you what kind of puppy. So you would write frisky. Oops, no, we would underline frisky. Let's do that again. And then we would answer or say which question this answers. So does it answer which one, what kind, how many, how much, or whose? In this case, Frisky is answering what kind. So we draw that out, what kind. Here we have two envelopes. Well, in this case, two is how many, so underline two answers how many. So the same for three through eight. Down here we have proper adjectives, and as we know, every time that we learn a, about a um, part of speech that is proper, we know that they're usually capitalized. And that's what it's saying here. If you have an adjective that is proper, for example, American, America, make sure that you capitalize. Here we have a name, example, Greg, Greg or Greg's. So if you're saying that something is Greg's, like whose, you would make sure to capitalize the name of someone. So here you're just going to write three adjectives to modify each of these nouns. So these are going to be different for everybody. You're going to actually make up your own. So here, for example, we have your classroom. Well, this one would be interesting for this year. How would you describe it? So you have to come up with three words to describe it. One example, they're doing it in cursive, so I think I'm going to do it too. virtual. That's definitely a describing word for our classroom. You're going to come up with two more. So here we have your dad's car, a puppy, a storm, a friend. If you can't think of any that are personal to you, just make up any as long as they make sense for the subject here. Here for Wednesday, you have what are called analogies and we have done this once before. And if you need help with this, as it's a little tricky, we can definitely go over through Zoom, but you're just going to match how these words relate to each other. So you're not looking for meanings. You're looking as to how they relate. So it says both pairs of words have the same kind of relationship. So I'm going to do, let's at least two of them. So you can kind of get the idea. So here we have for number one, kittens is to kitten as polyps is to what? So 
Here for these words, first, this is what we're focusing on. Kittens is to kitten. What is, how does kittens relate to kitten? Well, in this case, it's just that one of them is talking about more than one, and this one is talking about just one. So if we go to polyps, polyps is talking about more than one, so we should write just one, and actually that is in our list word. So just to go over it one more time, we have kittens is to kitten, more than one kitten, one kitten, as polyps is to polyp, more than one polyp, a single polyp. Now for number two, we have another analogy, another relationship. So it says, out is to in, as exit is to un, blank. Well, how do out and in relate? Well, it looks like they're the opposite, out and in. So if we're going to exit, that means we have to figure out what the opposite of exit is. So in this case, entrance. If you are not exiting, you are making an entrance. So just pay attention to how the first two words relate to each other. That sometimes they either mean the same thing, they're opposites, one is bigger than the other, one's higher than the other. Just take a look at how these relate and then you can decide which word relates to the third word. Here on the bottom, you're also using these list words. So all of them, including content and vocabulary. And this exercise is much easier because it is giving you many clues. It says to write a list word that is related. So we have here exclamation, exclaimed, exclaiming. So it's going to be pretty obvious when you're looking through your list that your related word is going to be exclaimed because it not only looks almost exactly the same or it actually has the word in it but it means the same thing so you're going to notice as you read these out loud the word that matches or relates is going to be pretty obvious